hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to see about uh, what is meant by the neighbor table and the topology table um, let let configure a, a router with a ehrp neighbor ship okay interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ip address 10.10.10.1 Interface first with the zero slash zero IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot two two five two five five dot two five five dot zero no shot do ping ten dot ten dot ten dot one okay reachability is there. Now we will configure EHRP router EHRP 10 network 10.10.10.0 10 10 10 router EHRP 10 network 10.10.10.0 10 10 10 Hey, Prajan says, yeah, I am, I am just uh, advertising some loop back to learn the routes because it's a directly connected routes. So I want to advertise some network through loop back. See, you will not see the EHRP because it's a directly connected. So I am advertising some loop back address interface loop back zero IP address 1.1.1.1. 255-255-255.0 Interface Loopback 1 IP address 11 dot 11 dot 11 dot 11 dot 11 255 255-255-255.0 I am advertising this two network under router EHRP router EHRP 10 Network 11 dot 11 dot 11 dot 0 Network 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 0 Similarly, we will go to the router 2 Interface loop back 0 IP address 2 dot 2 dot 2 dot 2 Interface loop back one IP address twenty two dot twenty two twenty two dot twenty two two five feet two five feet two five feet dot zero. Now router so IP route you will see this one dot network and eleven dot network summarized and land to the R2. Similarly, R2 put it in. So, IP root. Okay. R1 is still the R2 router you didn't learn because still you didn't advertise in EHRP. I am advertising that. Router EHRP. Config T. HRP 10 network 2.2.2.2.0 network 22 22 22.0 okay. so IP root okay let's look back at the advertising one dot network is advertising twenty two dot network is advertising eleven dot network. So you are learning three ten dot network is a directly connected and summary route is pointed towards null zero. Okay. Route is directly connected 
22 is directly connected. One dot network is learning through HRP double HDP. Okay. Now this lab is just to want to learn about the neighbor table and HRP table. We will focus on that one. See what is mean by neighbor table. This is the handle. The first neighbor formation it will show zero. If you have two to three neighbors, you can see one, two, and three. Okay. This is the address of the remote neighbor. Okay. This is the interface you will learn the neighbor. This is hold down timer. It is a 15. It is always reset whenever the allow packet is received. So allow packet, you know that every five seconds you will receive the allow packet. So you will first once allow packet is received, automatically it will get reset. The hold down time will get reset. You never see it's going below 10. So it means if neighbor is down. If you see that this is the uptime, it can show you the how, how many hours that the router was HRP neighborship was up. This is a round trip time, the HRP packet to reach the neighbor. This is RTO request transmission time, 33 30 milliseconds. It will wait 330 milliseconds before ready transmission count before removing that uh, devices from the list Q count is uh, how many how many AHRP packet waiting for query everything up with this should be always should be zero if it is one or two means somewhere uh, AHRP packet we receive the query packet it is still reading from the uh, establish the route sequence number uh, you can see that so I give you this explanation everything over here you can see that uh, as we already discussed, find the order number when the neighbor is established is formed. Hold down timer. This timer will expire once the 15 seconds it's over. It will it will drop the neighbor adjacency. S smooth round trip time. AGB packets to that is number of millisecond takes to send any AGB packet to your neighbor to receive an acknowledgement packet back. Or to is a retransmission timeout. The amount of time in milliseconds that AGB will wait before transmitting a packet from the retransmission queue to its neighbor okay queue count already we discussed ideally it should be zero it might be otherwise it might be the indication of congestion on the network sequence number it will show the last update okay last update query packet reply that you receive from the AJP network now I want to I am going to shut the interface interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 shut I am shutting that means the neighborship is down, right? So IP HRP neighbor. You can see hold on time is less so 10 seconds it was not received the packet. See now it was removed from the table because hold on time is expired. See there is no HRP neighbor in our table. Before removing the root, it will wait for some time. Okay, 10 and 11 is a local, right? This is directly connected. This is directly connected. See, you, can, you didn't receive the dual root. This is a local root. Okay, now I am going to unshut the port. Neighborship came up. See again the time is up time is six seconds before it was came up. There are 42 milliseconds. This is the last update. This is 11 sequence number you received. It will get changed whenever if it is down and you you receiving that neighbor. So IP HRP neighbor where you can see that this is a sequence number 10. So now we will go to the topology table. What are the terms we should know about the topology table? See the 
P defines a passive. This is a valid root. Okay. Once this is a P, then only it will be installed in the routing table. A is active. That is stuck. Uh, it is not from the neighbor. Q packet define update. Q packet is query packet. Okay. You may say the uh, this you will get to know the five states: active query packet and it's a reply packet that you will get it in debug command. Okay. Because within few seconds it will it will get formed. The neighbor so you we won't see most of the thing in IPT. this is a stuck in active state there is a separate lab is there what is mean by stuck in active state we will see that later this is a feasible distance feasible distance is a total metric to reach the destination if you want to reach the one dot network from r2 the total feasible distance is 409600 you can see my earlier video uh, how to calculate this feasible distance we explained over there what is this advertised distance advertised distance is it is the distance to reach from the one dot network from the nearest router okay that means from next to up that is in the same router r1 so this is a directly connected you can see always directly connected the visible distance and advertised distance is same sorry this is a feasible distance advertised distance is zero because it's directly connected over here this this we already seen in the previous lab okay these are the main thing you should know this is a process id this is a pro process id ip address you know the highest loopback address or highest interface ip address will be taken as a process id right first we configure the loop previous interface address then we configure the loopback address so this is this is the process id this is autonomous system number this is a process ID or you can say the router ID. And that's all about today's lab. Uh, this uh, video specifically explained about what is the neighbor table, what are the terms uh, uh, indicates uh, which is reflecting in the neighbor table and what is the topology table. Okay. Uh, in moving forward, we will see more video uh, about uh, other other terms about the null zero and other other factors because this is auto summary this is uh, only one root learn rest of the if you are receiving the packet other than this 10.10.2 .10 or 3 which is not available in the routing table or not available in the network it is pointed towards a null sum null root okay uh, thanks for watching my video um, if if you like my video or if you impressed my my video or if you think that this video could be useful for you at a some moment please provide like and you can share this video to your friends and to get a similar type of notifications in future please subscribe and press bell like bell icon thank you thank you for watching the full video we will soon we will see you in the next video bye